so just how tall is Peter Weller? Peter is a 72-year-old American actor who is best known for starring in 80s classic Robocop. Other film appearances include Naked Lunch, Screamers, The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai and Star Trek Into Darkness. On TV, Peter's appeared in a plethora of shows, including Odyssey 5, Longmire, 24, Dexter and Sons of Anarchy. But exactly what height does Peter claim? Back in a 1988 edition of the Chicago Tribune, when Peter was only 41, he commented on his height. He said he'd started to shrink and used to be six foot and a quarter of an inch. Now people do shrink. Some actors, they lose a considerable amount of height. But usually you'd expect a male to start shrinking in their 50s. At age 40 though, like Peter, it would be rare to lose noticeable height. Unless, of course, you were a stuntman or a wrestler. It's always possible for somebody to be mismeasured or simply take their height at different times of the day and then assume that they'd shrunk. When Peter fell in Buckaroo Banzi, he was only 36 at the time. Beside taller actors like the 6 foot 3 Clancy Brown or the 6 foot 4 range Jeff Goldblum, Peter certainly didn't seem like a strong 6 footer. As a big fan of sci-fi movies, Robocop in particular, I was absolutely thrilled to meet Peter at 2018's London Film and Comic Con. In this photo shoot, which I bought for a lot more than a dollar, Peter was aged 71 and I thought he looked a solid 5 foot 10 range. I think it's clear Peter has lost some height from his peak years, however, I wouldn't have guessed he was as tall as six foot and a quarter in his 30s and had lost a full two inches of height by age 70. I reckon he could have been an actor who was just shy of six foot in his prime.